SL93 Boxing, I'm back with a quick video. Kelbrook has once again ducked a make on for the second time, I believe. He has rejected a 70-30 split, which uh, guarantees Kelbrook the biggest payday of his career, even bigger than Kel uh, the Triple G. And Eddie Hearn has confirmed this in Twitter. Kelbrook responded with a pathetic low blow, with a shameful comment, in a shameful person that he is, what else do you expect? He says, who the fuck is that guy with the wanking thing? Which was quite funny, but not from a person who was caught midnight with another man while his wife is or his fiance is asleep with their daughter or son or whatever. And you know, um and the American responds to that comment, who is who the fuck is that guy? And he goes, I'm the guy below. Now get the fuck in the queue. Fight your mandatory for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> One million uh, dollars. My offer's too, too good. Take it or leave it. And then you know how Floyd Mayweather does that net worth and net worth shit. And American net worth 30 million, which I I think 30 million is from boxing, but from other stuff, I'm, I I think it's more than that. But either way, let's say 30 million. And then um, Kel Brook, a net worth of 9.4 million. Now, um, Kel Brook, oh, sorry, I was getting you confused with this guy <laughs> but this, this look it, this shit was funny for angles don't believe what you hear from that wanker i'm pretty sure everyone in the world no, with the world sign knows why i why i won the fight no, knows i won the fight right now let me, let me say that again i fucked it up don't believe what you hear from that wanker i'm pretty sure everyone in the world knows what i won the fight you know um Kelbrook's a fraud Straight up fraud, honestly. Guys ducked him. Kelbrook was saying that I will, I'm willing to chop one leg off to uh, make the weight for American. He said some shit like that before. Like when he got stabbed, I'm willing to fight. You're willing to do all that shit, but you're not willing to take a 70 30. Man, you, you, you're you ducking, and I knew. I'm not surprised that Kelbrook's ducking. A lot of people are going to say, oh, he doesn't deserve 70 30. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he definitely does. Of course, look. Bells don't mean shit. Khan is the A-side. And you have to understand this. You know who Kel what Kelbrook is like? As you probably... Some of you probably know that... Um, I, I'm, I'm in my... I'm in the I study in the university, right? And sometimes in the university, you got assignments. So we got engineering. Like I study engineering. Mechanical, to be exact. Um, so I'm with this other person for a recent assignment. And we work together, Right? It was a difficult assignment for me. It was a difficult assignment point blank period. It was quite long. So, you know, the assignment was di pretty difficult for most people. And, uh, you know, um, there was me and this other guy. And there was a few other people. But, you know, me and this other guy was working in groups. Okay. And it c we would help each other. Where I would, you know, where there would be a problem, we both would try to figure out. And we worked together. So, if we both end up getting a similar grade... Or diff it doesn't matter, right? We deserve a good. If we both get a good, if one person gets a good grade, I won't be jealous on. Like, I not necessarily jealous. I won't be like pissed off at them because they got a bad, better grade than me. Either way, um, as long as you know, I would think it's unfair if I get a low grade and he gets a high grade. But if we get similar grade, maybe one get, guy gets higher, one guy gets lower. It doesn't matter because let's say we both get an A or A plus, A minus, whatever. We deserved it, right? Because we worked hard. Now, what happened was. In that assignment, some other guy, few, um, like a day before, came up to us and bro, send me your work. He said he won't copy it, but he will change it up a little bit, just blah, blah, blah. But you know, we, what the fuck? Why are we going to give him the work? Why? He was chilling when we were working hard. Really, he was just lying down. When we were trying to solve problems for a few weeks before that, he was just chilling. He was literally chilling and all of a sudden, he's just going to get this stuff that we worked out took us days and days to do it he like some of them took even four or five days to do it he's just gonna sit and just take it off us within like minutes no no see that's the thing that's that's kill brook that's kill and anyone in that situation would say probably at least want to say no now but they're getting mad when the on saying no but it's the same situation kill brook's doing the same shit he has never he was chilling fighting bums while khan was working hard fighting top level oppositions yeah Maidana was top level yeah Judah was a champion you guys forgot right um Sean Porter beat Alexander Bosodet Kotelnik and can't beat him at the age of 22 
So, you know, you have to keep that in mind and um, all that into consideration. Kelbrook hasn't really done shit. Kelbrook wants the American fight for many reasons. A, like he has that, obviously he's jealous of the pot. Uh, I think he's jealous of um, the amateur, whatever. I don't believe Kelbrook's version of the story. He doesn't give a clear version of the story anyway. Um, because Khan was in the elite squad, Kelbrook was in the normal squad. That's not to say Kelbrook can't beat him in the pros. You have to understand that it can change. Like, you know, pros are different to amateurs, a lot different. But Kelbrook hasn't done shit. He was chilling while Khan was working. And there's no way, if I was in Khan's shoes, I would never give him a payday. He has to earn it. He, This guy is still being a fraud. He still doesn't want to step up. He still doesn't want to grind when Khan... It's not just Khan Thurman, for example. He's grinding now. When all of a sudden they want a Spence fight, and now I know Spence is you know looking for those big fights, unlike Kell Brook. But let's say if Spence wasn't, why would Spence? Let's say if Spence still wasn't, and he was fighting the level of opposition that he's still fighting, why would he deserve a tournament fight? He wouldn't. And that's that's all I'm trying to say. Kell Brook doesn't deserve no fucking Khan fight. Hell, he didn't. He never deserved like a big, like a huge fight. He deserved a Spence fight. For sure, Mr. Mandatory needs to fight his mandatories. All of a sudden, you know, Khan did the biggest, the best thing ever. He gave up Kelbrook, uh, he gave, offered him a payday that um, Kelbrook, you know, it, it was bigger. He kind of, he did, he gave a payday that he deserved. Kel, he gave, Khan gave uh, Brook a payday that he deserved. 70 that is fair. And um, it's gonna, Kelbrook's going to get the biggest payday of his life. I think Khan's going to get similar to the Canelo, maybe a bit less or more. Um, and you know, it's disappointing from Kell Brook. I'm not surprised because I've been following Kell Brook's career for a long time and he has done whatever it takes to avoid a top opposition risking anything. Sean Porter, against Sean Porter, he wasn't risking much because he was the mandatory and Sean Porter was the world champion. That world title has been for no legit def defenses um, against Golovkin. It, it was a bit, basically a money grab and anything he did against Golovkin. I respect him for his performance there though. But you know, at the same time, I feel like Canelo, I can't did well against Canelo too. It's just that Canelo was underrated. Right? And Golovkin was overrated. And Golovkin always had a bad defense. Look, Canelo's a better fighter than Golovkin. I do think Golovkin would get Khan out of there worse than um, he got Kelbrook out of there, like a lot quicker. He would get Khan out of there a lot quicker. But the same time, Canelo would get Kelbrook out of there a lot quicker as well than he got Khan out of there. So, um, you know, that's, that's just stars make fights. Kelbrook proved himself to be a ducker. He only wants the Khan fight to... Or at least, obviously, he's jealous of the... Um, that's what I think, jealous for the amateur thing. He is jealous that Americans getting all this shit. This guy who beat him in the amateurs getting all this shit. And then uh, American told him in his face that I schooled you. Kelbrook called American when American was in 140. And Kelbrook was at 147. And that's the reason why I'm saying it, right? When Kelbrook is at 147, he never really called anyone out. And he still hasn't called any... Like he, When a mic is put in front of his face, then he says, yeah, I'm willing to fight them, I'm willing to fight this and that, go out see a term and this and that. But he chats shit, man. He knows he wouldn't make no money outside the UK, like no big money. And that's really all he's looking for, big money. That's why he wants the Khan fight, because Khan is from the UK, he can make a big money fight. He, made, he kept talking shit about Khan. I think, you know, as I'm thinking about it, this could have been planned as well. He kept talking shit about Khan because Khan's from the UK and the big domestic fight can happen. But, um, you know, that's why he doesn't want to fight no one outside the UK. Because that means he has to go to America and keep taking chances. If you're in America, they're going to chuck you in the deep end. They're not going to do this pussyfooting shit around uh, shit. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say, man. Kelbo keeps talking. Um, I'm not surprised. He really is. I'm. I'm glad what Khan's doing. What he did gave him a good offer, but um, not an ugly offer. Not like a no, 90, 10, 85, 15. And you know, he's told um, Kelbrook to fight at Spence. Actually, you know, I'm actually a bit disappointed with Khan actually offering the fight, knowing that Errol Spence is the mandatory for the Kelbrook fight. Um, in a way, I mean, I guess Khan just wants Khan wants that money, right? It makes sense, but at the same time, doesn't want to give Kelbrook the big money fight. Fight Errol Spence for one million. Said the right thing. I actually want to see. I wish Khan was like this. If you don't fight Errol Spence, you don't get to fight me. 
and then Kelbrook would fight Errol Spence hoping he gets the Khan fight afterwards that's really I kind of hope but you know um, hey listen Khan kind of did what the f in a way what the fans wanted him to do I think Errol Spence does deserve the um, Kelbrook shot before anything but I think that could that has the potential to kill the Khan Brook fight at least not really kill it because that fight will always be there Kelbrook can bounce back if he dares to fight some decent level opposition which actually I, I have doubts on and um but in, and also like his negotiation power will actually go down meaning that Khan can actually demand more money which will not be on Kelbrook's favor as he's looking for a payday hence you don't see him fighting any other top fighters going out there in America the Jesse Vargas fight was did not go down one of the reasons because he, he can't like Jesse here's the thing like Jesse Vargas is technically a bigger name he's more known in the boxing world and he wants more money for that. Meanwhile, Kelbrook, he's not unknown. He's unknown. He's an unknown fighter, pretty much in the boxing world. And he wanted more money because he goes, oh, "I'm a champion. I need to get paid this and that." But man, you haven't. That's your fault. You haven't fought in America. You haven't taken all the risks that Thurman's taking, Khan's taking, Garcia's taking. Everyone's taking. You're just sitting there, you know, putting your chocolate brownies right up the bums. And that's what you're doing, man. But hey, man, this is Kelbrook. This bomb hunter. I'm tired of talking about Kelbrook, man. I'm SR93 boxing. I'm out.